Welcome to my YouTube channel, I was planning to the join. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys on how to do your window coping, okay? In Archicad, just one of the fastest ways for you to go about that. So let's say for instance you have uh, like this kind of a building, okay? And you want to fix the coping. I should have done that earlier on when I was doing the you know the, the, the floor plans and the drawings. But uh so let's just say that you just want to fix that, okay? So what you just want to do is just uh you, you might let me just try and click on one of the windows okay so i'm going to click on this window and i'm going to click on the settings dialog okay now i want you to come to sliding window settings click on this model and i want you to scroll down and look for one of these two things casing outside and casing inside okay i'm going to be using the casing inside okay so when i once this is clicked i'm going to select this inside casing Stick it okay once i stick just just click on ok now you're gonna be having this particular window coping outside of the windows okay if you want uh, you can decide to increase the size and you can decide to uh, model it so if you click on the windows on the window again click on the settings dialog you should uh you can come to select this and uh, come to model attributes okay now you're gonna be seeing casing inside as you can see so you click this okay and let's give it a uh, titanium white so click this and click on ok okay and it's just going to automatically change into a white coping okay so you can decide to increase the size of your coping as you can see if this is too small for you you click on it and click on settings dialog and uh, you should uh, click this and come back to the casing inside and decide to increase the size maybe by let's say 150 okay or you can decide to use 130 for your design and you can click on ok and this is also going to increase a little bit as you can see so that's what this is one of the ways for you guys to do your uh window casing or window coping in archicad all right so if you guys want to do for the rest of the or for the rest of your designs what you guys can do is just Click on design and click on on the window two. Press Ctrl E to select all of the windows in your drawing, in your 3D drawing. Now click on the settings dialog. So because of it selecting, as you can see, it's selecting uh, the glass block wall, 27, as you can see. But I don't want this. All right, I'm going to just zoom in on one of the windows real quick. Okay. It can just be this one all right i'm going to hold on shift on my keyboard select the window and select the window again okay i click on the settings dialog and let's insert the the coping so you want to go to the casing inside again click on the inside casing ticket and let's give this one to be 130 okay now click this and let's change the let's model it to be titanium white Okay, and then click on OK. So automatically, all the all the windows coping should be shown automatically. Okay. So now you're just gonna be having something like something like this for all of all of, all of your drawings. Okay. I'm gonna show you guys one other ways if you guys want to use if you guys want to use other designs for the window coping. There's a way you can do that manually. Okay. So I'm just gonna do that for the glass block okay so if you guys decide in the future that maybe you guys want to use just a straight uh, design you guys can also actually do that manually but that might take a little bit of time when you guys are trying to uh do that so let's go to the ground floor plan and i'm just going to look forward the uh, uh let me go to the first floor so i want to look for so this is where the this is where uh, the glass block is okay so I'm just going to make a simple design, a rough design here. Go to the document section, click on the line tool, and uh, make sure this is being selected. Now I just want you to you can set to select any kind of color you want. Let me just select uh, let me select blue. So I'm just gonna from this from this point here, okay? I'm just gonna click. I'm gonna drag it outside. And I'm just gonna give it like let me see. Uh, 35 okay click enter stretch it outside like this by let me say 130 
click enter okay then select and select the side okay remember now you've made a nice uh, rectangle like this so what you just want to do next is just come here and decide to just make any random uh any random changes to your uh design okay so make sure you're selecting the suspend groups hold down control on your keyboard and cut out those parts okay just cut it out okay you can select this select this you can decide to give this an edge curve like a curve edge like this okay so this is still i think this isn't better so so we just what we just did was we just did any we just made a we made the rectangle into a different kind of a shape okay now this is just offhand okay so you can decide to use any kind of a uh, design you guys want to use okay so i'm gonna go after i've done this what we want to do next is just come to the design now look for morph click on the morph hold on space by your keyboard come inside this box and uh just move move it to this edge and click so this is going to be it's gonna it's gonna be a color uh brown color okay so i want you to come to wherever this uh glass block has been located on the first story i want you to go there in your 3d view okay you should see it somewhere down here as you can see this is the brown stuff okay so what you want to do next now is just click on it press ctrl d and i want you to select this edge here select this edge here okay and try and move it to this edge here so click so it's already there and i want to select the edge again all right select the edge select this select that point that node let me just move in so you guys can see what i'm doing so you want to select this node all right and select uh, this tube so once you select the tube you'll be able to stretch this design up okay so click this and this charm let's try and move this properly so you can select this select this edge okay, i'm just gonna try and move this in a better frame so select this edge come down select this edge and um let's bring it back to the side here okay so once you've done that you've made a nice window coping okay just like this one but you know with a little kind of with a little bit of uh, a design if you move closer you're gonna be seeing the designs we made okay it's different, it's different from this one this one is just a uh, straight design and this one is a different kind of uh, edge as a different kind of edge to it so now if you want to model this so you click on the window coping select on the settings dialog and click this right here okay so make sure you select a model click this click this and just give it the titanium titanium white okay click on ok and that should change okay so now we have something like this for the design so you just want to uh, copy this copy this design and paste it here way to go about that you can just go to the first story now we're gonna go to the right side view okay i'm gonna double click on the right side view so this is the right side view and this is the design this is the coping that we made the window coping so select this oh sorry select select this and let's make a copy to the side here okay so ctrl shift d select this point here and let's place it to the side here okay so once once you're trying to uh make it paste make sure you're holding, holding that shift so you guys can make a very straight line that aligns with this with uh this other one here okay so as you can see this is the this is the two glass block i've already made the coping you can decide to come here and paste it for these other ones so i'm just gonna select this edge on our shift select this and let us press ctrl shift d select this point here and you just want to come here make sure you're holding shift and select this point here so it's going to copy that part to 
to this side here okay so this is one of the ways for you guys to go about this in Akikari. Another last thing I feel like I need to explain to you guys is um, depending on how you how you place the windows will determine how to it's, it's gonna determine whether you're gonna use the casing inside or the casing outside okay so um what I'm trying to say is this right here this casing inside inside or casing outside depending on how you place the windows so let's say for instance this my window is placed like um it's placed this way so i'm going to place a particular window here i'm going to hold on out select this so this is the way i'll place the windows all right so once it's placed like this and it's opened like this you go to your 3d view you should see the uh sorry yeah you should see it down there because that's the first that's the first floor so you should see it like this okay so let me, let me go to the first story again i'm going to select this and i'm going to delete this remember that i opened the window inside like this okay so if you go down if you go down out select one of those windows and you open the window from here instead of it to open it from here you open it from from outside like this okay if you go to your 3d view you're not going to be seeing the the coping outside the coping is actually going to be inside if you guys go inside you're going to be seeing that as you can see as you can see the coping is inside the building it's not outside so if you guys did that i want you guys to select this select on the settings dialog and what you can do if you guys already have already made the plans already what you can do is just uh click on the casing outside and select this okay once you've ticked that go to the model and uh it's going to select the titanium white so you click on okay but before you do that click on the casing inside and try to on ticket and click on okay all right so you're gonna be having the casing outside like this okay so depending on how you fix the window is very very important uh as it's very very important you guys know that okay thanks for watching this video has been of help to you kindly like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next tutorial video thank you